Ethereal and Dreamy. These texture abstract gradient backgrounds are great for wallpaper backgrounds, Instagram stories, and even branding. My name is Laura Kyung, and I am a graphic designer with 12 years of experience. In this video, I will show you three different ways in which you can create abstract backgrounds that are beautiful to look at. If you're in a hurry, Envato Elements is a great library with unlimited assets that can help you out with any project. So don't forget to check them out. Let's get started. So let's start by setting up an Illustrator file. Open Adobe Illustrator and click on Create New. Select the iPhone X preset, set all the bleeds to 15 pixels, set the color mode to RGB, the resolution to 72 pixels, and click on Create. In the toolbar, select Rectangle Tool. Create a rectangle on the artboard that extends to the bleed marks. In the toolbar, select the Mesh Tool. So the Mesh Tool allows us to create gradients in practically any form. Each space can be moved, curved, and manipulated in any way, adding flexibility and control to a design. You can create your own mesh by clicking in different parts of the rectangle. The mesh doesn't have to be even, that's the whole point. So create as many or as little points as you would like. Now we need to create color swatches, so feel free to create your own or you can use these ones. Create small square swatches with the rectangle tool for pink F09FC6, blue A9CDD7, yellow FBF5CC, and for green BEF4BC. In the toolbar, select the direct selection tool. You can select individual points by clicking on each point. Add more points to your selection by holding shift as you click on the points. So once you've made your selection, go to the toolbar, select the eyedropper tool, and click on any of the color swatches we created. You can also select several points at once by clicking and selecting. So here you can keep going until you have all of the rectangle colored. Using the direct selection tool, click on any point and you will notice other points get activated. Those are points that allow for curves. Feel free to play with those. And another option is to grab whole areas with just the selection tool and move them around. Remember that Command Z allows you to undo. This is your best ally for this step. Another way to make a textured abstract gradient background is by using the freeform gradient. So let's create a new artboard, press shift O, and in the control bar, select new artboard. Let's move this around. And now let's set up our color swatches. For the light purple, EA D0 E2. For blue, 0930 CC. For the light blue, A9 E F E E. And for peach, F2 C6 A F. In the toolbar, select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle that again expands to the bleeds of the wallpaper. Open the gradient panel by going to Window Gradient. While selecting the rectangle, click on the Freeform Gradient in the Gradient panel, and under Draw, select Points. To edit each color, click on one of the dots at the corner, select the Color Picker from the Gradient panel, and click on any swatches we created. You can move the dots around and expand the radius to edit the wallpaper, you can add more points by clicking anywhere on the rectangle. So here we can move things around and really there's no right or wrong. The result is all up to you.
Another way to create a gradient is by using lines. So create a new artwork by pressing Shift O. Let's create a new rectangle. And in the gradient panel, select the freeform gradient and under draw, select lines. Click anywhere in the rectangle to set a starting point. And you'll notice that this tool behaves as similar as the pen tool when you're creating curves. You can leave the shape open or you can close it and you can change colors. So select a point and then select the eyedropper tool from the gradient panel and click on one of the color swatches. You can have more points. You can also keep the individual points. To recolor the artwork, head over to Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. This option allows you to experiment with color variations. It's helpful when you have finished designing something but you only want to swap colors. The color wheel will show you a selection of colors that you currently have in the wallpaper. To change the colors, move the main color around the wheel and watch the rest of the colors move in conjunction. You can experiment with this button or you can move the prominent colors around. So now let's add some texture by adding noise. In our case, in Illustrator, it's called grain. So select the design wallpaper rectangle, go to effect, texture, grain, and in the grain pop-up window, set the intensity to 25 and the contrast to 50. Set the grain type to regular, Click OK. And there you have it. You have three different awesome texture abstract backgrounds that are very easy to create and there are different ways to create them in Illustrator. Remember that if you're running out of time, there's always Envato Elements. They have a growing library with awesome abstract grading textures and many more assets for your projects. My name is Laura Kyung and from all of us at Envato, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.